Hey guys, Framefray here, and welcome back to Victoria 2. Today we're going to be continuing the multiplayer tag team series with me as UK and the T-Dog as Luxembourg. Hello everyone. Alright, so we're picking up where we left off, fighting the endless war with Belgium and also helping Luxembourg grow in Southeast Asia. Um, is there a way to check to see how long we've been at war with Belgium? Uh, does it say that? I know in EU4 it'll say. But oh, man. I guess it just seems like I remember. Do you remember when we got done recording last time? I was like, wow, it feels like we played so many years. And then it was like 10 years. Yeah. So it's okay. probably been an eternity that we've been at war with them. Yeah. <laughs> um, since the start. Hmm. Who's I, I'm thinking that maybe this episode we should probably go to war with Prussia because I think isn't. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Austria is allied with us. So we might be able to get them to fight uh, Prussia for us. Do Prussia was allied? They don't really have anyone, do they? Well, the Ottomans, but the Ottomans only has a 28 military score right now, so I don't think that they really even matter. Yeah, they went to war with someone. I guess they've been losing land to all the Greek territory and Albania. Right. So, yeah, all those yeah. crises have been going in the opposite way. So I think Prussia is going to be a good target for us this uh, game. And we're going to get you the, uh, the Rhineland, because that's like... It's coal, coal, it's coal, iron, and iron. It's like the most OP province ever. Oh yeah, just like the um, the Wallonia region in Belgium that we've been trying to get for <laughs> ten years. Yeah, I think at this point though, we might it might be better if we just peace out. I mean, we can give it a little bit, but I think because oh, we did a reload, the AI might recalculate and think, okay, well maybe it's peace time. Hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on two speed. Okay. Or three speed. We'll try three speed because I mean, we I'm not a, doing anything. Did we have a hundred war score against Belgium before? Uh, I think so. Yeah, because now we do. Yeah, I mean, we have them entirely sieged. Okay. Huh. Oh no, and then we're over. We're at war over here too. Oh, you're already sieging. You're on top of it. Yeah, um, yeah. I had that done last episode, so. Can I start building stuff over here yet? Not quite. Oh, you I think I got your yeah, I got your railroads for you. And I think I built the forts. Yeah, I should, I need to do railroads in Siam though for you. Here we go. And uh, I can't get in an alliance with Burma or military access with them, even though they're in my sphere because we're in this offensive war with Belgium. Ooh, which kind of sucks. Yeah. I think the reason why uh, the Netherlands and Russia aren't piecing out is because they got the one siege done, which is kind of like fucking us over. That's Yeah, that's what we were like trying to wait for them to maybe try to piece out, but I don't think they have enough war score, do they? Yeah, so... Oh yeah, they're not even close. Yeah, we were waiting for them to white piece, that's right. Right, and I don't think they're going to. We were just going to try to grab another region, weren't we? Uh, you can't. Can you? Yeah. No. Yeah. So like that's the thing. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna peace out, and then uh, Netherlands and or Russia is gonna come over and annex the rest of Belgium, which is and what the we're problem was is we were gonna go to war with Netherlands, but they're in France's sphere and allied with Russia. That yeah, was which is like ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> they they're countering our our opiness with their own. And uh, France at fighting France at this point is not a good idea. Because they're allied with Russia, also, <laughs> and so I, that's why I was thinking that Prussia would be the yeah, likely maybe candidate. to knock them out first. Mm -hmm. And I've been building up. Uh, I'm going to build some more transports so that I can get uh, all of my units over here from China, or at least a, a good portion of them, because I don't need that many in India right now at all. That's way too many <laughs> units in India. <laughs> well, I mean, you have what almost thirty. 66. Yeah, you have almost 130 already where I will be. Yeah, but they, uh, the Prussia has like all their brigades right there. Yeah, and they have 62. So they have, uh, like 100 and what's, what's 60? It's, um, 180 something. Yeah, they have like 180 like units over here. So I got nine. Even with encouraging soldiers, I still only have nine. And the only thing I'm worried about is that. Like, the, the Austrians aren't going to be much help just because I think they're probably going to go and 
fight Ottomans. Or will they? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I... I, mm -hmm. I just expect that I'm going to have to do this war. You know, we're going to have to do it by ourselves. Pretty much. And I think, I think that's the safe assumption. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't trust the AI ever. All right. I'm going to start ferrying people back to UK. Can we get an alliance with... Oh no, they're great power with Spain, because Austria is allied with Spain. Mm -hmm. But that's why matters. I was hoping that Austria would declare war. Oh yeah. Because I'm getting pretty close to secondary power. That's good. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna get is you it, a bunch of stuff. Are we gonna have problems though when I get to like you know like eight or nine? That, like, Austria won't want to be your ally anymore? Well, I mean, I can always break alliance with you and then form it later after yeah, we have the alliance with, yeah. uh, with Austria. So. Yeah. And then I can, I can call you into war. Um, even, even if, like, so uh, Austria just de alliance to me and took Spain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at least then we won't have to worry about the Ottomans at all then. So, because they're not going to be able to get access from Austria because Austria hates them. Yes. I ideally, you know, this is the AI we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> they like to Except work for, all against yeah, us. Yeah, when Russia walked all the way through Sweden, through Denmark to attack you. And, and through my spheres. It yes. wasn't even a sphere, it was my satellite that they walked through. <laughs> Alright, so you have your territory down there now, Notch. Oh, good. I can already build troops over there, too. So awesome. I can maybe do my own expanding over there. Yeah, I mean, if you can find some, like, idiots or easy people. Like, uh, you could probably... I, I would really like it if you could go to war with Burma, but I'd, I'd rather, honestly, that you saved your infamy for uh, Prussia. So do you want to fabricate on Prussia? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to do... So, yeah, just do a state. What's, what's your infamy at right now? Ooh, it's at 19.9. Okay, so maybe we want to chill for a minute. <laughs> um, we should probably peace out Belgium, because it's going to take uh, eternity to have the... Uh, the infamy go down if we're at war. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, so we can go ahead and just um, piece them out, I guess. And it I could like make them a puppet. Population. I wonder if I made them a puppet, would that uh, would that stop them from being at war? Or is it going to be like EU4, where if you vassal someone that's at war with someone else, mm -hmm. that you... Well, I mean, that, would that would be, be technically that would be good. how we'd want it, yeah. Ideally, because the Russians aren't over here anymore, really. Right. Okay, well, I think what we're going to do... I, I mean, it's I, the infamy is uh, 10. I can't afford that. Oh, okay. So I think we should just peace out. Yeah, we can always wait until the Netherlands and France... Or Netherlands and yeah, France or Russia aren't allied with each other anymore. And you just and got just a bunch like more culture. I got an yeah. alliance offer from Prussia. Ooh. I took it. I guess we're gonna go with we could, we could go to war with France now. Uh, crisis offer from the Ottomans? No, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Did they get someone to do it? I don't think so. Why am I black flagged? <laughs> oh, this is gonna. That's so annoying that I'm black flagged over here. Do I not have military access in you? I think I gave it to you. Cause I think. Here, let me see if I can. Oh, no. I gave you military access. I don't know if that helps at all. One of your guys is in Black Flag, but the other ones are. Yeah, that was in... But he was standing there before we pieced out. Oh. Uh... But now we'll be able to lose Infamy at a reasonable rate. Yeah, what is it? Point 0.1 a month? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Which is definitely better than what we had at... Oh, there's Russia. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that didn't take long. Oh, they landed boats. But see, I mean, they wouldn't be able to do that if you, I mean, if we were at war with them because your navy would stop them again. Right. Yeah. So they, they're pretty much useless, Russia, as long as, uh, but then they're going to, Prussia is going to fight them. But Prussia has built their military up to like 103, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. It's gone up like 10 in the last couple months. Yeah. Hopefully. So we're going to, I think what we'll do is we'll try to use them a little bit to beat up France. And then once they're weak, we can turn on them. Yeah, because we could probably take France pretty easy, I bet. Yeah. With the France, who are they? They're allied only to Russia, right? 
Russia, yeah, and then like minor states, Switzerland, yeah. two Sicilies. And they only have 91 brigades. Compared to me, I have 137, so I would have to move mo the bulk of my forces over, but we could do that. And plus, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be taking more land in China soon, so whenever that yeah. truce is over, which is right now, so. All right, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go to war with China again. Okay. And then once that's done, I'll be able to make even more units. Oh, God, I got four infamy right off the bat. Damn. Oh well, I'm at twenty three point three nine. Oh, it's okay. I, I I couldn't have gone over the limit, like thankfully. Yeah, and at least you get a little bit of time before mm -hmm. you declare the war when you can lose a little bit of it. Mm hmm. And the war is going to be fast because I'm not going to add any war goals because it's just going to be useless extra infamy. They still got all their people around you. What was that justification? I think that was France against, against the Ottomans. Against the Ottomans, wow. For, that for might what? be a, a uh, acquire state. So are they going to try to grab... Probably like one of the colonies over here. Probably Ottoman Africa. Yep. But if they move a bunch of their people over there, then we might have an opportunity. Yeah, that, that would be definitely a good idea. If I can figure out how to get my units unblack flag, maybe, maybe if I, I, I'm gonna have to use transports, but whatever, it's fine. I don't. Well, think, how do are you gonna to... get to the coast? Oh, there we go. We lost sync. Oh. Well, that was pretty. That was pretty good. We got 15 minutes. All right. Um, how are we gonna get to the coast? I don't know. Um. Oh yeah, because that other war's already done. The Netherlands already grabbed it. Yeah, so I mean, I can. I, my units are black flag still, so I can walk those to the coast. But ah, oh, yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, so what do you? I think I'll just do uh, rehost, and we can try that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna save the game. It's probably a good idea. Oh. All right. Yeah. So I just resigned instead of uh, quitting. Okay. What's yeah, your? Too. What's your? Uh, O T I M, I think. Yeah, me too. Okay. So we're allied with Prussia. Did you host already? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're allied with Prussia, um, and then they'll they'll help us, I think, against uh, France. That'll be a pretty good thing. Did the Ottomans fall to secondary power? That's probably why we got the alliance with them. And I think that's probably why Austria... I think Spain took Ottoman's place or something like that? As the great power? Uh, it was... Spain was in 7th and then Bavaria was in 8th. Mm. But I I just jumped from 21 to 12. Oh yeah, so I mean, from I'm that, right on probably the that piece. Yeah. Alright. Cool. So you're ready? Uh, you just got, yeah, there we go. So I can actually click on my provinces now. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna turn it down to two speed just for a little bit here, cause we're, uh, you know, planning war and stuff. Yep. Okay. All right, it's going. Yeah, my oh, population. Oh look, at my my units unblack flagged. Oh, perfect. Who would have known? We just needed a, another. I just desynced again. All right, so I just I just started us off on two speed. Okay. I'm gonna check to see who those. I saved so that we wouldn't. I wouldn't be magically black flagged again. Bavaria, Scandinavia, Ottomans, two Sicilies, me, Nassau, Switzerland, Portugal. Yeah. Who the heck are these people? They're not. Oh, it's just all prestige. So Hanover is like banning me and being really mean to me over here in uh, Hanover. In a... Oh yeah, they, they hate me. Minus 198. Mm. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, France. You ready to tussle? Wonder, oh. will it say... Um, 
if pressure will come. Th I don't. I don't even think it says that for like the wars. No, okay. it doesn't. I'm gonna increase relations with Prussia to 200 before I ask them. Oh, you have a war against France? Hmm. No. You. Oh, okay. Let me know what your infamy is. Uh, Still at 19. Still 19. Okay. Yeah. Next month I'll dip below. I was gonna see if I could acquire. How much is acquire state normally? 10. Okay. Well, I mean that's the maximum you can get. Mine it's, normally is like two days go into fabricating the claim and then I get it for yeah. 10.98. Yeah, that's what happened to me for China, which I got, by the way. Oh, yeah, yours is done. Are you going to declare it? I think I'm going to wait till I get um, one more set of units over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just for fun. Well, they're all half morale anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, and they're they're... Uh, primitive units too so they're just gonna get absolutely wrecked the thing is though like the Chinese the I, I wish I was a fucking like robot like them because the AI is so good at managing units on th that large scale where yeah. like I, I could never you know give that many orders I, I wish I could like even get close to being that good at just like telling units to do something because like as soon as you leave a hole in your lines they just run through and siege all your provinces before you can even do anything it doesn't even matter if you have like the numbers advantage ooh I could get a humiliate Casas belly on France that would be nice does that just lose prestige? That's not like I lose half prestige. military or anything. No, is no, it? that's uh that's dismant or um cut cut to cut down to size is the yeah. the fifty percent military. Or I could gain prestige. I don't know. Aren't you already number one in prestige by like a lot of points? Oh no, but actually, but... yeah, France is twenty ahead of you. I mean, I'm gonna let that event sit there for a second. Um, because I don't I don't think it's time to go to war with France right now. So oh no. Yeah, I don't have any claims. Yeah, so it would be pointless. We would just go to war. The only thing that would get us is a truce with them. Yep. These steam transports are so fast. Oh, yeah, much better than, I'm sure, clipper transports. Yeah, they take eternity to get anywhere. So, um... Ooh. There's gold? There's gold in uh, Alsace-Lorraine. What? Oh, there is. Uh, they have some crappy RG. I would probably go for Champagne if I was picking a region because that's huge, and it has uh, it has coal twice. I mean, you'd get iron from from French comp from the French. Uh, however, you pronounce that. <laughs> Uh, you would get uh, dye, which might be nice. Yeah. Oh, and then it goes all the way down to Switzerland too, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, we would be able to touch Switzerland too. And it does have coal at the bottom there. You yeah, you might want to actually get the the French French A region that's just directly below you, because that has a I think it has a more diverse. RGO, because uh, you already have so much iron and coal. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, want to... would be nice. Mm. Okay, I think I'm ready to go to war with China over here. And the rest of these units, I'm going to start uh, ferrying back to mainland UK. Okay. Ooh, uh, I think I'm just going to take the one, the province that's next to me. That has the most population. I think it's the Southern Anuli. Is it to the left? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say. I didn't think you were connected, but you are. Oh, they're already in. Yep. Sieging it up. They're going crazy already. Holy cow. Freaking smart ass AI. <laughs> it's okay though, like there's no no amount of their units could kill my superior western units, right? 
Plus, I've seen the AI where, like, once the battle gets big enough, they just refuse to move any more units into it. They're like, okay, that's too rich for my blood now. Yeah. How it's much okay. more score have you got from those battles already? Like, yeah, you're already at uh, 13. 13. Yeah, so it's like GG already. Yeah, you need, like, two more battles and you're done. Well, China's a little bit more stubborn than that, but... Yeah, a lot of times the AI, they want, like, 20 more war score than... It's like, what does it even like, say that for? Yeah. If it's going to ask me for so much more war score, why, why does it even have that as an option to be less? I guess if they had no army, then it would probably be, you know, whatever they say it is. I don't think I've ever seen this many armies in a small space. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> There's so many people in like a four province little area. Oh, yep. Fran France is at war with Prussia and the Ottomans right now. Ooh, nice. It's a European war. Prussia, we should probably try to go to war with Prussia. Okay. They're at war. It's a two front. They're at war with France and the Russians. All right. Well, I, I paused it. Okay. I didn't disconnect, so don't, don't, don't panic. <laughs> um... Okay, so so because I, I just pieced out with uh, China, okay. So I just wanted to take a close look at what's going on over there, so, so we can plan. All right. So what are we doing? Prussia is at war with Ru with France Russia, and Russia. France. Oh. What's your military at right now? Uh, four. I have or not, nine. Sorry, I mean infamy. Is there? Is uh, do you think you could squ squeeze one in? Uh, it's at 17.8, so I'd need, I what, think that's like, fine. I think that's fine. Yeah. You want to risk and, it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and start uh, fabricating on them. Okay, I'm going to go for a choir state. All right, yeah. For 11. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. I mean, so the way the AI calculates it in the in the beginning is uh, they, they look at your alliances, and if your military power is just so crazy, they won't even declare war on you, even okay. if you go over the infamous. So hopefully I can protect you. I would I do need my navy, I think. Oh yeah. Is the I guess the military numbers on the like the diplomacy screen that factors in navy, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. They have 1.4 capital ships to your 8.8. Hmm. Military access from France. Uh okay. Prussia wants it from me. <laughs> no. No. You can't do that. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to go through all their forts that they have right there. Have fun. Oh, Switzerland are attacking Prussia. Ooh, Netherlands is a great power now, so they got out of the sphere of France. So oh. they're easy to eat now. So, okay, everything is opening up. It's yeah, just how much infinity you have. That's the only problem. I haven't. Oh, I just got caught for 9.8, which means I'm at 27.6. Which mm, I mean, everybody's at war right now, so hopefully that won't be a big deal. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna lose a province somewhere. France discovers discovers great war against Luxembourg. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this is where we do the uh, reload the save. Game. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try again. I mean, it really does help that, like, half of the great powers are at war right now. Right. I mean, if I was declared on by the Netherlands, we'd be fine. That would be good, because yeah. then we could just trounce them. I mean, you have literally almost all of your army right there, right next to them. Mm-hmm. Go right. Switzerland. I don't know if Switzerland ever fought a European war. Don't worry, little Luxembourg, the UK will protect you. <laughs> and just don't think you're going to get an alliance anytime soon with anybody. How much longer do you have on your justification? I have... 220 days. Alright, so is... Prussia might be done with the wars already, but they'll still be very weak. And have no allies except for me, who I'm just gonna, you know, long live the king. <laughs> and broken. How is that? It's already at five percent. 
It's acquired, yeah, it's to acquire Tripoli. Which they already kind of are. Hmm. The Pope's helping him. Nice. Oh, and of course I get the minus 25% acquisition speed. Oh, God. So now we're Man. probably back up over 200 days. Yep, back up to 223, which is what I think I told you last time I was at. Yeah. But that's a little bit more time to get my infamy down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Prussia's pushing into Russia. They're doing the Schlieffen plan. They really are. Except the problem is, is they went east instead of west. And yeah, they need to... Swiss, they got attacked by the Swiss. And uh, Russia is the one they're supposed to save for later. Yeah. Oh, poor Albania. Were you? Oh, you are allied with France. Right, let's see how many people I can cram on this boat. Oh, I'm to 11th. Crack. Congratulations. So You're... close. Oh, another minus 25% speed. Nice. I wonder what are we even going to do, though, when you come over? I don't think it's really going to mean much. Besides, uh, it's going to be harder for... Ooh. You know that crown in the gutter thing? No. Uh, Like, so there's this event that sometimes can happen where... The uh, like Germany will get rebels, and then they are, or Prussia will get rebels that allow them to form Germany. Like no matter what, it's just like uh, they're young German brigades. Huh. And um, but they only apply if you're the strongest German miner. So once we get you to great power, you might actually not, you might actually stop them from being able to do that. Because that would be really shitty if they form Germany right now. <laughs> It'd be more than shitty. Well, there's yeah. not like a special thing you know like well they would only get like the lands that they currently own so like just their little like it would be basically like north german confederation it would just be called germany and i guess they have cores everywhere but okay i have 68 days in right. that other war france hasn't gotten what they need yet so we okay. should be yeah i mean whenever you're uh you whenever you have enough whenever you're ready to go to war just declare and i'll, I'll accept yours Okay. Your, and then uh, Prussia will just die. Is Prussia's army dropped? Yeah, drop below 100 now. It's really good that we uh, that I declared that war on China, because I think they would have tried to call me in if it wasn't for that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you would have lost the alliance anyway. Oh, I could build another guy. Where at? It's kind of strange that Prussia didn't call me in, though. Not even now. Stupid AI. <laughs> they just want to <laughs> die sometimes, I think. Yeah, especially in like a defensive war, you would think the AI would call no matter what allies. call. Who? What is this war for? Is it was it maybe like one of their miners? Oh, because France is trying to acquire Tripoli. That's why yeah. Prussia didn't call me. Because oh, because the Ottomans called them and they took over. Yeah. Because that that was that justification we saw France doing earlier. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. Poor Prussia. We're not going to have much to left to, oh, I guess, well, not on the western part, there isn't anything to siege, but mainland Prussia over there. Oh, yeah, we can just go roll over in there. And all their miners are going to go to war with us, too, so we can get easy war score by killing those guys. All right, are you ready to go to war? I got my yeah, ready. justification. Okay. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause so that we can uh, have an opportunity to move units. Oh, am I in Prussia's sphere again? No. You're in my sphere. You might not be able to declare because they're allies. We're allies. Yeah, we're. Uh... They're trying now. I just dissolved the alliance okay. with Russia. Yep. And I want Rhineland. Uh, I think that's. Is that the only one you border? Well, no, you border two now. So let's take a look at the RGO. Uh, do you want a shit ton of coal? <laughs> <laughs> do or... I want more coal? Holy cow! That is literally. I think you probably want to get Nordenhain. No, it's one, two, it's one, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four. Oh, and then cows and wood. Okay, yeah, so four. So do you, I think you probably want to do Nordhein. That one's bigger too, anyways. Yeah, because it? it's uh, you're not sharing it with uh, Bavaria or Hesse. Okay. All right, so we're gonna declare for Nordhein, Norderhein. 
and I'm going to call you in. And Fantastic. Declare. All right, proceed. Okay, so we're only at war with Russia or Prussia so far. Uh, I don't see. Where's their army all the way over there in Russia? It has to be. Yeah. Yeah, I see all their stuff in there. I don't. I don't know why I have vision in Russia, but it's probably <laughs> it's probably left over from having the alliance with them. 